Allumage au AP, décollage. Could life lurk in hidden oceans on Jupiter's moons? The JUICE mission is finally on its way to find out. <laughs> Launch was an anxious moment at Imperial College in London. Scientists here built and will operate one of the mission's key instruments. We had to wait so long for this to happen. We had to wait another day. It's finally gone. I'm just so happy to see it on its way. It's a beautiful launch. This is a real moment of excitement and relief for the scientists involved because the mission's finally on its way and for the European Space Agency that's never sent a dedicated mission to Jupiter 4 before and certainly not one with as many scientific instruments on it as this. It's very much just the first step on a very long and perilous journey all the way to the Jupiter system. The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer is embarking on an eight-year-long, four-billion-mile slow waltz through the solar system several orbits of the Sun, a slingshot around the Moon and Earth, another around Venus, are needed to get it to Jupiter in 2031. Once it arrives, it will perform flybys of Jupiter and three of its moons, Europa, Callisto and Ganymede, some as close as 25 kilometres to the surface. What it sees will be thanks to engineers here at Teledyne in Essex. They made the imaging sensor in Juice's camera, no easy task, as radiation around Jupiter would destroy conventional electronics. The environment it sees at Jupiter is nasty, especially really, really high radiation, so there's a high probability of anything ordinary will fail, and the launch environment is quite nasty as well, so you've got to make sure it survives launch, survives the journey there, and it continues to work well in the horrible environment that's around Jupiter. It is very exciting, and especially when it's the first image of something that's never been imaged before. Other tools, radars and magnetometers will peer into the ice covering Jupiter's moons, study their atmospheres and measure tidal forces believed to keep salt water oceans beneath, warm and liquid. Could life like that found around deep sea vents on Earth exist on the moons orbiting our giant distant neighbour? Or are we all alone? Well, watch this space. Tom Clark, Sky News.